I'm not here to play around today, okay? A lot of you last time were saying that I was, uh, basically laughing the entire video. That most of the memes were funny and I was just putting on a face. Not today. This is what a guy who won't laugh at a meme looks like. This is the epitome of anti-D&D comedy. I will not laugh. Not a single time. I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna prove it to you all right now. This is no joke. This is incredibly serious. I don't take this lightly. I will not take this slight against my reputation. Who's DMing me? My wife. My wife, in the middle of me recording this, DM'd me a tweet. Wee oui, wee, oui, yesterday I had little croissant and too, and too much coffee. And so I had a, how you say, panic attack. It's not D&D &D meme, so I'm technically allowed to laugh at that, all right? Here we go. Bard put, don't you dare act like you haven't laughed at Moldy Sushi's Arcane Arcade memes every time they get posted. I'm just being nice, okay? I'm just being, I'm just trying to be nice because I appreciate the uh, the jokes and the fan art that comes in for our D&D &D games. Do I necessarily find them funny? Maybe not. This situation was pretty funny because we were playing our Adventures of Avnia game and we were sneaking into a castle to try to find evidence on some corrupt uh, king advisor. And while we did this, we decided to disguise ourselves as like maids. Jack wasn't able to play. His character is Jeremy, who is the halfling cleric. She's like a little farmer and she was off doing her farm stuff and we were in the main center city. And so we, uh, we just tossed the uh, disguises when we were done. And we were laughing at the fact that uh, Jeremy, like, like what if Jeremy was fishing and she just found a maid outfit and then uh, moldy sushi drew it and it was pretty funny so um, but I didn't laugh I didn't laugh at that mm -mm. Any, and if there's proof of me laughing about that on the stream then it was just to make you feel better M you in luck I made one today my plot twist me the game master my precious players do you do you think I would I relate to this oh oh uh, what's a relatable D&D &D meme maybe I would give that a little bit of a like not today. Not today. Not funny. Did, didn't laugh. Oh, Colton, Colton, you think you can come in here? You think you can enter this space? You think you can challenge me? Do you see my lips? Do you see a single smile cracking from them? No, not even one. I promise you, I can get through Colton's meme without even smiling. Wizard, why is the barbarian carrying a skillet? Bard, he thinks it's his spell casting focus. Wizard, he has spells, bard, just one. Every time he hits someone with it, he shouts, cast iron. Not a single smile. I don't think y'all understand the sheer extent I am willing to go through to prove you all wrong. I read the comments from the last video. I will not falter this time. This is simply a challenge. I have no idea where I got these from, but they were in my camera roll. DM. Red dragon, another red dragon. Red dragons are strong, that's why it's funny. An oldie but a goodie in my opinion, elf. Wait, I can explain, dwarf. You can live 750 years, I only live 350 years. Human, at least you can live longer than a century. DM, you guys think you're going to live? No, good joke though. Good joke, but no. Why is Frodo trending? EA just announced making a mobile Lord of the Rings game, a free-to-play collectible RPG. <laughs> I don't care. I made this one for the game I DM. I am once again asking you to play D&D tonight. <sighs> Bernie meme. In this context, maybe it's just the context. Maybe it's the context of the fact that I am just preparing myself to see some funny things so I'm not ready to laugh. And so like shock humor is going to get me the most and I know that that's the setting I'm in. If this was sent in like our group chat, I would probably laugh at it. Maybe, maybe I would probably laugh at it. DM, so what do you want to do in town? Party. <sighs> they do be fighting the lobsters. Oh, the druid's also a lobster. <sighs> I like that it's a random lobster. Lawful evil devotion paladins be like, I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. 
but we can't expect to God to do all the work. I do like me Joshua Graham, but it ain't gonna make me laugh. You think he's sneaking in a little New Vegas? You think he's sneaking in a little, a little game that I love? One of my favorite games of all time? Think it gonna make me laugh? No! Mm -mm. Unfortunately, it's a D&D &D meme, so therefore, not. Two gnomes in a trench coat. Two gnomes. Out of all the people within the community, you are somebody who reliably posts funny memes. I must say, you are one of the few that genuinely make me laugh sometimes. I'm afraid today is the day you fail. Who would win? A titan made by the gods of death with the sole purpose of obliterating realities. Ozymandias, yes, from my um, one of my games. A mountain... The context here is that last game of Evenfall, Jack's character, Laszlo, is a character from a previous campaign where he fought the BBEG, which was Ozymandias, which is right there, who was that, a titan made by the gods of death with sole purpose of obliterating realities, and he beat him. And last game of Evenfall, they climbed a mountain, and I made it really hard, and uh, Jack said in the middle of the game, I fought a titan made by the gods of death for sole purpose of obliterating realities and the mountain was more difficult. And I did not expect a reference, but it did not make me laugh. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Not today. Not even the frost maiden's rhyme can ice this drip. Oh, the bear. Oh, I just saw the bear. Oh, the bear. That's the bear from- that's our Icewind Dale game. That's our Icewind Dale game. No, no, I- oh, I know what these are. Oh, no, they're- they're getting personal now. Now they're getting personal. Oh, God. Okay. I didn't even smile. I didn't even smile! Does this look like the face of a man who would smile at a TNT meme? Okay, I will explain the context of some of these and hope that I don't laugh doing so. But I won't. I won't, because they're not even that funny. They're not even that funny. I don't even... I keep looking at it. So, so, this top left image is um, Tyler's character, a representation of... I just saw the Crocs. Tyler's character, Atlantica, who was a sea elf who died at the end of the campaign uh, by, uh, allowing her friends to go through a portal out of the Nine Hells, and she stayed behind, and her fate was left unknown. But we heavily implied that she died. For all intents and purposes, she is dead. But the community on our Discord, uh, believe in Atlantica being Doom Guy in Avernus and killing a bunch of <laughs> zombies. Oh, I'm just out of breath. I'm just out of breath. I'm not laughing at all. The rod, the immovable rod, that was the, um, if you want context for that, go to our D&D story. It's called Oh No, the Rod. The eyeball is Atlantica losing her eyeball. The gun is Kyria's gun. The, I don't know the Dwight being, um, Hannibal Lecter. Somebody wear somebody's face? I don't remember that. Um, the... Purple and blue wizards. Ooh, these are getting obscure. The double snaps? The fo the fox is Neelix. What's the double Thanos snaps? The eggs, eggs, bread, eggs uh, is actually incorrect. I can correct that one. Um, when they went into their mansion for the first time, I had a bunch of unseen servants who uh, would make food for them within this magical mansion and they asked what food the party wanted, but they were very robotic. So uh, the party was just discussing it and they were like, oh, well, br bread would be good. Yeah, we should maybe do bread. Ooh, eggs. Yeah, I do like bread. And then they took those first four foods and said, bread, bread, eggs, bread. And that was the only food that the mansion would make for forever now was bread, bread, eggs, bread. Uh, this meme is incorrect. It's not eggs, eggs, bread, eggs. What are the two dead monkeys? Sunter was so big, and so I don't even remember. Don't go to 223.21 on Even Fall episode 23. Worst mistake of my life. All right. Okay, I'm at 223.20. I still, I still, I still, <laughs> you're still kind of sus to me, so. Oh, well, shush. Sus! Don't sus! Don't do too much. 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 Anyways, um, 
Let's uh, let's uh, let's do initiative. Jacob, uh, that was kind of funny. everybody. Ro did everybody roll and and and? <laughs> good, good gnomes. It was it was good to use my own hubris against me, my own inflated ego against me, that I would laugh at my own self. I didn't. I got close. I got close. I forgot about that. I didn't know I did that. I was just goofing on Colton. You're gonna have to try harder next time, gnomes. None of the ones you read last time made me laugh. I fully agree with you. D and D memes aren't funny. They're all repetitive and predictable. Wait, that makes me repetitive and predictable. Wait, no, wait, maybe this was a bad idea. You're in the squad of because your optimized combat build and heavy weapons. I'm in the squad of because they're trying to romance me and I want to hear my dialogue options. We are not the same. Yep. My roommate who just wants to go to sleep. Oh, Matt be looking funny. Matt do be looking quite funny in that picture. This isn't, it's not even, the D&D &D part of this meme doesn't make me laugh. It's, it is Matthew Mercer's pained face uh, that is slightly cut off. The, this ravine is 10 feet wide. Yup. My, my strength score is 16. Yup. So by the running long jump rules, I can reliably jump 16 feet forward. Makes sense to me. So I jump over the ravine. Make an athletics check to not fall into the ravine. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, roll less dice. I'm I wholly serious. Like that that's a rule in the book. You don't need to roll to jump ten feet if your character can just do it. What do we need to roll for every spell now? Can I cast prestidigitation? Oh, roll a check. Like no, you can just do that. You don't need to roll for everything. Rolling for everything is dumb. Sorcerers, what is that? Wizards, my people call them books. It's not funny. Warlock players when the DM actually makes their patron demand something from them. Oh, he's like upset. How I wake up knowing my enemies are ontologically evil and there is no act against them, which is wrong. I am too smooth brain for that one. Perception check three, stealth check four. Hmm. Sir, we found the guy who decided cats don't have dark vision. B. Mr. McMahon, we have a problem, I have a problem. What do you Mr. McMahon, we have a problem. They're here. in the parking lot. Here. You stay here! You stay here with Stephanie! You take me to him! Take me to the son of a bitch! Take me to him! Come on! Go! 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 Where's the son of a bitch? Where is he? Where are they? God, run! He's running! I've never seen that video before. Ah, this is the way you cheat. You cheat! You cheat by showing me something that isn't D&D. <laughs> it's dumb that cats don't have dark vision. They should have dark vision. Necromancy is based. <sighs> didn't laugh, 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 didn't laugh. I did not. Go cry about it in the comments. Go have some copium in the comments. Didn't laugh. When you're so used to Googling D&D stuff that you catch yourself searching <sighs> That's so stupid. This cat, chillin', ears, weapons of warding, harasses. <laughs> Just coughing. Digging down and drinking up. Why are so many people going dwarf mode? The term embraces the comforts of depravity and direct departure from the cottage core influence of early pandemic days. Hell yeah, I go dwarf mode every week. When I play D&D, &D, I go full dwarf mode. Resurrection. Seventh level necromancy. Casting time, one hour. Range, touch. Components, VSM, a diamond worth at least a thousand gold pieces, which the spell consumes. This spell closes all mortal wounds and restores any missing body parts. This will also... Slash DD memes. Did the standards raise? Did they raise their standards finally? This one surprised me. I am the DM. I speak for the NPCs. Murder Hobo again, and I'll bring. Okay, we're done, but uh, we're the final segment. Spencer sent me a bunch of memes, and we're gonna look at those uh, right now. When you get the party to draw their characters, but everyone has different art styles. Mom's good.
That one's good. Not gonna make me laugh though. That's a good meme though. Party member dies. The next person they meet. You know, I'm something of an. Inf No, they're not funny because she sent them to me. No, 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 no. She just knows that I think that those things are funny. She's she's targeting me. I'm being targeted. I'm being targeted. When you, a literal idiot, rolls up a 20 whiz druid. He he, the wisdom juice is kicking in. Yeah. When you're a two-handed barbarian who can't cast a single spell and you're waiting for the dragon to land. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. The DM describing the background NPCs were never meant to be a part of the campaign, the party. Who's that? Who is that? I want a name. God, I was in the shower while she was getting these. And she, she just, God, she knows. She's too smart. When the bard takes up necromancy. I like those skeletons. I like those little, those, those little bony chaps. The DM, the creature shows a distinct lack of hearing holes. The... That scene from Adventure Time fucks me up so bad. We watched that to make ourselves feel better. That episode, that scene in that episode. Fully fleshed out NPCs, the party, goblins with overalls that I made on the spot. Lehman's tiny ha ha! <laughs> It's so weird how close the party has to be with the Lehman's Tiny Hut. Spencer, you went for the goddamn throat with these. Cobalt Civil Rights Movement PCs stopping the cult of... T yep. Yep. That's accurate. Me opening a chest hoping for some nice loot. That's... That's... I like Kermit. Kermit. Ooh. Spencer, you, you fought valiantly. Truly, you did. That was the closest that I had gotten, but alas, I win again.